Hi, God bless everyone. Assuming I'll post this. Um, I haven't made up my mind, but I just woke up and I received several different mess messages and a vision like right as I was waking up. I wasn't even woke all the way. I don't know if you can call it a dream. I was like about to wake up or just waking up. I don't know. Anyway, there was songs that was playing in my spirit and I got to go research and find these songs. One of them, I know the lyrics was saying, the old me is gone. May he rest in peace. And I knew I had a knowing with that when I heard that song that the Lord was referring to the separation between me and him because of my worrying about mate stuff. And like he, that was part of this experience. Like he let me know that all my worrying about mate stuff, all of that was gone. And it was saying the old me is gone. May he rest in peace. And I got to find that song. And I saw a vision. With that, I saw a vision. Thank you, Father. And once again, this is hard to explain. The wedding supper of the Lamb is not going to be anything like what we've seen on this earth. I mean, just forget it. <laughs> it's hard. I can't even explain this. And now the Lord showed me these stairs really was in the clouds. Like they wasn't even on the ground. They It was these stairs. And Jesus was wearing a suit, a beautiful suit. A tuxedo, actually. It was black. He was very, very handsome. Hair just cut perfection, just perfection. And I was wearing a white wedding dress, praise God. A beautiful white wedding dress. And I had this smell on my face. I had red hair again. And my hair was like braided and like one big braid and it's hard to explain and I'm tired. But anyway, I look good, you guys. I look beautiful. And I was in my transformed body, which I've seen many times. And I had light skin, which I've explained many times. I'm, I'm not going to go into that right now because I want to finish what I'm saying. The stairs that Jesus was walking down towards, he was walking down these stairs towards me. And I was walking down stairs towards him. It was two sets of stairs, like his stairs was in front of me. And, and then I was coming from my stairs. Like, you know how a bride is coming in, but they come in just walking on the floor. But instead of walking on the floor, I was walking down these stairs. And him, the groom, was walking down another set of stairs. And he was walking towards each other. And he was smiling. Thank you, God. And he was so excited. He was so excited and he was so happy and I was so excited and I was so happy. And it was like he was showing me like I'm not going to be worrying about all this stuff. I trust him. He's a good father. And I felt that I felt that in this vision. He's my father. He's my good father. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And I just felt like I will trust him. I will not worry him anymore. The old me is gone. May he rest in peace. Thank you, Jesus. So that was one thing. And then another thing, my spirit was, it was three songs. One song I've already forgotten. But I know one of them, thank you, Jesus, was Blanca. A song by Blanca. And it was playing lyrics in this song, I, I Run to the River. But the specific lyrics that was planned, I can't remember. But when I, as I was waking up, I prayed and asked God, what song was that? And the Holy Spirit told me it was that river song, I Run to the River by Blanca. So I know once I listen to it, then I should l remember the exact lyrics that was in that song that was being played to me that I can't remember right now. And I pray that God brings remembrance to me about the third song. So that was the songs that was planned. But then also the Lord 
about to my remembrance. Something I released recently, I talked about how, uh, how do I word this? I'm trying to remember because I'm just waking up and I'm tired. The Lord brought to my remembrance a, was it a dream or a vision? I'm trying to remember. I can't remember if it was a dream or a vision. Yes, thank you, Lord. He came to me and spoke to me and I saw a vision and I released that. And I talked about how, you know, the Lord told me I was entertaining dead things. And I talked about watching uh, excessive amounts of wedding videos because I love wedding dresses. But I neglected to say something, you guys. And the Lord brought that to my remembrance. I didn't think it was a big deal that I neglected to say it. I just didn't think I needed to say it. But apparently I do. And so I need to fix that. So, yes, I was excessively watching wedding dresses. But it wasn't just excessively watching them. It was stressing over the dresses. So, you know, maybe he wants me to say this because people that get married, it's nothing wrong with watching wedding dresses. You're getting married. You know, you need to figure out what kind of dress you want to wear. But I was stressing over this stuff, you guys. It was becoming an idol. An idol was anything you put in place of you and God. And it was becoming something that was on my mind. I wasn't just watching. It was like I was stressing over it. And what I saw when he came to me, I neglected to say this. I saw a dress that I bought. I did buy a dress, not a wedding dress. Let me let me make sure I say that correctly. I didn't buy a wedding dress. <laughs> Praise God. I just bought this beautiful Nigerian, you know, African dress. It was gorgeous. And I was really wanting this dress. And then when it came, I realized it was in Chinese size. It was Chinese size. And for those that don't know, Chinese size is like two sizes less. Like it's like two to three sizes less than what we say in the U.S. Like in the U.S., if you say a large, then that would be like a small or extra small in Chinese size. So when the dress arrived... It was too small and I was really stressing over it. And he showed me that that was part of that experience. He showed me that and I neglected to say that. So I was stressing over this stuff. It was becoming like an idol. And the Lord wanted me to express that. And yeah, I didn't think it was a big deal to say all that because I'm going to be honest. You know, I was a little embarrassed, <laughs> I was a little embarrassed by that part. But apparently the Lord wants me to say it. So whoop, there it is. So I've explained it and definitely don't do that anymore. And personally, now this is just me saying this now, now, you know, this is not from the Lord. I don't think it's anything wrong with watching wedding videos every, you know, every blue moon and stuff like that. And I don't think so. As long as you're not stressing over it and it's becoming an idol and it's becoming excessive. Like when I say watch them every blue moon, like if you watch like one or two at the most, maybe like one or two at the most. And that's it. You're not, you know, sitting there binge watching them over and over and stressing and losing your peace and acting a fool. You know, you're not sitting up there like... Lady, don't buy that dress. Oh, that's so ugly. Oh, my goodness. No, go to the other one. You're not acting like that. So <laughs> let me just throw that out there. Anyway, I thank you, God. I thank you, God in heaven for helping me with my ministry, God, for helping me to say things correctly. Thank you, Jesus, for the work that you do in me and in all of us, Father God. You love us so much, so much, God. You're a good teacher. You are Rabboni. You are Rabboni, our everlasting good teacher. Lord, we love you. We love you, God. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen.